My name is Mary Barry, and I am chair of the Rotary International Melbourne 2023 Host Organising Committee, known as the HOC. And I would like to share some information with you about the upcoming convention. The first thing I'd like to start with, of course, is the dates of the convention. The convention will run from the 27th to the 31st of May, 2023. And I hope all of you will put those dates in your diary and lock them in. The other areas I want to share with you today are the convention stakeholders, including the host organizing committee, the launch and registration for the convention, and how you and other Rotarians can participate in this wonderful opportunity at the international convention. So the stakeholders for the convention, the major key stakeholder, of course, is Rotary International President-elect Jennifer Jones. There then is the Rotary International Convention Committee, known as the ICC. This is a group of Rotarians from around the world appointed by President-elect Jennifer Jones to support her in the organizing and overviewing of the International Convention. It is chaired by Francesco Arezzo, a Rotarian from Italy. And as the chair of the host organizing committee, I am also a member of the ICC. Other stakeholders include the Rotary International Board, the 2223 Trustee Chair, RI Past President Ian Risley, the RI Secretariat, the RI Convention, Convention Staff Team, whom the host organizing committee and I meet with on a regular basis. Now to the host organizing committee. The HOP is made up of a number of advisors and a HOP board. The advisors cover areas such as special events, government relations, diversity, equity and inclusion and transport. We also have an ex officio member, which is Jesse Harmon, who is a Rotary International Board member and the ORI Director for Zone 8. The HOC Board consists of a chair and two vice chairs and a number of directors with specific portfolio responsibilities. These include treasurer, promotion, sponsorship, sustainability, publicity, welcome, host hospitality, house of friendship, services and volunteers, and technology and customer experience. The five districts of Victoria, who are the official hosts of the convention in 2023, are all represented on the HOC board. So what is the role of the HOC? As you can see, we have many jobs that we have to do, but for today's presentation, I'm gonna focus on three areas, which is volunteering, host hospitality, and sponsorship. And now for the exciting news. The 2023 Melbourne Convention will be officially launched from the 4th to the 8th of June at the 2022 Houston Convention. The Houston Convention is the first face-to-face -face convention, of course, since 2019. So you can register in person at the Houston Convention, but if you're not attending the convention, you can register online on the Rotary International Convention website. Now, I strongly urge you all to register between the 4th and the 8th of June, 2022. That is when you will get the cheapest registration fee you will be offered. It is a special fee and it is available only during the days of the convention. So make sure you register between the 4th and the 8th of June, Houston time. On the 9th of June, it moves to early registration fee, which means an increase of 50 American dollars in the cost to register goes up again in December 2022 and in April 2023. So please do register between the 4th and the 8th of June, Houston time. Now, how can you get involved in this amazing opportunity and this great convention in 2023? Well, the first and most obvious way to be involved, of course, is to do what Rotary and Rotarians do very well, which is to prop your hand to volunteer. Volunteer recruitment will commence in June 2022. Now, volunteers can be Rotarians, friends of Rotarians, family members, Rotary actors, alumni. Anybody really you know who would be interested in being a volunteer at this international convention. 
For those of you who would like to volunteer within the two venues, the Rod Laver Arena or the Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Centre, you must be a registered delegate for the convention. However, there are plenty of other opportunities outside of the venues for those who will not be registered for the convention. There will be volunteer opportunities at the airport, at the hotels, and at train stations. So if you are interested, and if you know people who are interested in volunteering, please go to the host organizing committee website in June and put in your expression of interest to volunteer. Another opportunity for you to get involved in the convention is in the host hospitality, which is on Monday night. Host Hospitality is a Rotary International Convention tradition where delegates experience a memorable evening of hospitality, local culture and international fellowship. Rotarians living within a 15 kilometer radius of Melbourne CBD can participate in home hosting where you get to invite four to eight delegates to your home for dinner, offering them a more relaxed and intimate experience of life and culture in Melbourne. Hosts will be expected to collect their delegates from their hotel and ensure they get home safely at the end of the evening, which can be by Uber or taxi if desirable. Hosts will be provided with a contribution of $55 per guest to offset the cost of catering and any transport costs incurred for the evening. Clubs that operate within a 20 kilometer radius of the CBD of Melbourne can also participate by inviting a minimum of 50 delegates, that is one bus load, to a local cultural event, followed by dinner at a smaller venue where these guests can also enjoy and relax in an evening of hospitality, local culture and international fellowship. Clubs will be given a contribution of $35 per guest towards catering costs, and the host organizing committee will provide buses to transport delegates from their hotel to the local event and back to their hotel at the end of the evening. So if you or your club would like to participate in host hospitality, please go to the host organizing committee website, uh, click on volunteers, then host hospitality, where you will get far more information and an expression of interest form. Now, another opportunity is if you or a family member or a friend own a business and would like to be exposed to a Rotary audience, you can always purchase a booth in the House of Friendship. The booths will be 2,000 to 2,500 American dollars. And further details will be available on the Rotary International website later in this calendar year, probably around September or October. So if you're interested in this aspect of purchasing a booth, please go to the Rotary International website later in the year. Another opportunity, of course, is sponsorship. And I think we all know that sponsors play a huge role in any convention or any conference, no matter how big or how small. So if you or anybody you know is interested in sponsorship, please feel free to contact Murray Verso, who's the Hawk Director of Sponsorship. But for this presentation, I can give you a bit of a high level overview of what sponsorship is available. Well, there will be four categories, diamond, platinum, gold, and silver. And these will range in price from 34,000 Australian dollars to 274,000. There is also a House of Friendship Supporter Opportunity, which is 14,000 Australian dollars. Now this will give a lot more visibility than just having a booth, but not full convention sponsor recognition, but this can all be negotiated with Rotary International. So again, if you or anybody you know is interested in any of these categories, please contact Murray and he'll be more than happy to have a chat with you and provide further details. And finally, there is an opportunity for you to nominate a project or a person or for your club to put forward a project or a person to participate and run one of the breakout sessions during the convention. There will be 80 to 100 breakout sessions and a call for proposals will commence in July 2022 and conclude in September 2022. 
No doubt this will be a competitive process, but if you really have a project or a person you think would make a great contribution, please go to the Rotary International website in July and nominate for the breakout sessions. I do hope that during this short presentation, you have seen opportunities for you, your family, or your friends to participate in what for some would be a once in a lifetime opportunity to attend and or volunteer at an international convention. And the Rotary International Convention is a wonderful opportunity for you and your friends and family to experience the true internationality of what Rotary represents. It's an opportunity to meet up to 25,000 like-minded people from around the world. People of action who come together and take action to create lasting change in our world. I would now like to conclude by showing you a video to remind you after three years of lockdown, what our beautiful, energetic, lively, fun city Melbourne has to offer interstate and international delegates from around the world. It's time for us to get excited once again about Melbourne and its surrounds and sell it to the world. I look forward to seeing all of you in Melbourne in 2023. Get my shoes and out the door Five, I'm alive Six, seven, eight, feeling great Nine, gonna shine, life is good I'm doing five, ten Gonna do it right and do it again, yeah I look into the sky with all the beautiful color But there's more than just for me So gonna share it with another I got to show, to give, let out I want to sing and shout Take a look and see a beautiful morning That turns into a beautiful evening And together make a beautiful life And if you wanna see Then come along with me, that's right And if you want a good tomorrow Combination of consistency, come on, it's a good